Hallmark Card Studio makes it easy to commemorate events and bridge the miles between family and friends by creating personalized greeting cards and other print projects. In this video tutorial, I'll give you an overview of Hallmark Card Studio's basic features so you can quickly get started creating your own greeting cards, invitations, calendars, scrapbooks, and more. When you launch Hallmark Card Studio, you'll see the home screen where you can choose from thousands of Hallmark greeting cards. Open a previously saved project. Search for a specific card or design a project from scratch by starting with a blank template. Let's start by browsing the different card categories. You'll find birthday cards for all your friends and family. Holiday cards that range from Administrative Professionals Day to Veterans Day and everything in between. Special Days offers cards for anniversaries, religious celebrations, graduation, retirement, and more. Day by Day will help you find the right card for wishing people good luck, thank you, and sympathy cards, as well as many more everyday greetings. And finally, in other projects, you'll be able to create calendars, 3D cards, postcards, certificates, and many other creative projects. Let's start our project and pick out a birthday card by clicking the Birthdays button. Here you'll find that we can scroll through the large collection of Hallmark birthday cards. We can even filter down to different categories of birthday cards by clicking on the categories in the left panel. Another way to narrow down your search and find the perfect card is to use the search bar. Let's type in cake to look at all the cake cards in the selected birthday category. If you click on the All Projects button, your search is widened to show all the projects in Hallmark Card Studio with cake images. It's easy to make the card previews larger while you are browsing by using the Zoom tool. Just click and drag to make the previews larger or smaller. When you mouse over a card, two buttons are revealed. Click on the heart to save a card as a favorite for easy retrieval later. To see all your favorite cards and projects, click the Favorites tab at the bottom. The other button that shows up when mousing over a card is the Preview button. Clicking here lets you see all the details of a card right from within the browser. Just click on the card to magnify. Click and dragging the hand tool allows you to pan across the card. Let's look at the inside of a card by clicking here. To customize your card with text, photos, and other enhancements, simply click on Edit in Art Studio. You'll be amazed at all the ways you can personalize your Hallmark card. Over on the left, you'll see buttons for various enhancements. Use the top buttons to navigate between the front, insides, and back of your card. These buttons below allow you to add text, shapes, clip art, photos, and more to your projects. This card is for my friend Janet, so let's personalize the text on the front of the card. Clicking once on the text brings up the text toolbar where we can first add some flair by making the font bold by clicking here. And let's change the type's color to purple. The toolbar can be moved by clicking and dragging. To make it larger or smaller, click on the plus or minus buttons. You can easily reposition text or graphics by clicking and dragging. To get more precise controls, we can launch the Edit Toolbar from the Tools menu. To learn more about this feature, just press F1 on your keyboard to open Help. To customize text, just double-click. Now type the new text to personalize this card for Janet. Now let's navigate to the inside of the card. We can add a photo by clicking here. 
we can find the photo we want to add and click Open. The deluxe version of Hallmark Card Studio includes a built-in photo editor called PhotoPower that helps you enhance photos, crop them into shapes, apply special effects, and more. This photo of Janet has red eye, but we can easily fix that with PhotoPower. Let's zoom in. Then click Fix Red Eye. We'll click and drag to the center over the eye. Then click Apply. Now let's repeat the same steps for the right eye. Then click Done to confirm our changes. Now that looks much better. Now let's add a fun crop by clicking on the Edit tab and then selecting Crop. We'll click on the cutout shapes and scroll to find our desired shape. I'll use the crosshairs to select the part I want to crop and click Done to save our changes. The last tab is Effects, where we'll find some fun filters to enhance your photos. In this example, we won't use a filter and instead click Save and Return to Workspace. Now that our project is finished, we can print the card, email it, save the card to work on it later, or use the Share button to post it on YouTube or Facebook. That concludes our introduction to Hallmark Card Studio 2012. Now you're ready to start exploring Hallmark Card Studio and begin creating your own personalized greeting cards and other projects.